Right, this tutorial will run through trying to get the KDS Fly, uh, Fly Mentor working on Windows 7 64-bit PC. <coughs> the software supplied by the Fly Mentor unit doesn't include a 64-bit driver and therefore won't normally work. So we need to source one off the internet. Right, okay. First thing to do is prove that we're actually using Windows 64-bit. So if I go, uh, this, okay, we can see that we're using Windows 7 64 bit version of operating system. Okay, right, first of all, we're going to download the driver. We found the driver here. So I'll just take that, drop it straight into Internet Explorer. Now what we're going to do is it's trying to load the file here. We're going to drop down at Laro and we're going to put save as and I'm going to go to the C drive. I'm going to create a folder here called temp. I'm going to click on new folder. Temp. Click into the folder. So I've got a nice empty screen. Click save. Just doing that really for ease. I'm going to use the quick uh, link here by clicking on open folder here at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to click on the zip file. I'm going to click into the folder and it's the Vista 64 bit one we're going to use. I'm just going to drag it there so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to left mouse click this Windows, uh, the Vista 64 bit folder and keep hold of the left button and drag it across and let go. So it appears in, in the in the temp folder. Just to clear things up, I'm just going to click here, drag this back, and close this window. We now have the driver we need in here. <clears throat> the driver name is exactly the same. Uh, if you really wanted to, we could we could we could right click here, we could open with. Don't need to do this bit. I'm just just showing you. We could we could open this this, this in Notepad. We could drag to the bottom here, and we could change these here. To KDS, uh, <coughs> KDS port, or whatever, whatever you wanted to call it, you know, because it's going to come up as a virtual communication port rather than the, than the KDS port you're probably used to seeing on, on on other other operating systems. So to you, you don't need to do that. Okay. Now what you need to do is actually install the driver itself. <coughs> so I'm going to go to Device Manager so we can see what's happening. Okay, you can see at the moment, I'm going to put the view here and I'm going to say show hidden devices. I currently don't have anything installed. Uh, this, this, is, this here is for the Eternity uh, charger so I can use uh, log view. Uh, other, other devices here, there's nothing there uh, for, for, for KDS so that's, that's okay. So let's, let's plug in the uh, <clears throat> the, the the KDS adapter. It should cycle around. It's time to install the driver here. <clears throat> Maybe look, it's going to come up and say that it can't it can't do it. There you go. Driver device driver software was not successfully installed. So we're gonna we're gonna click here. And click update driver. Okay, browse my computer. You can see I've done this before, but we're just gonna we're gonna do, do the browse. Yeah, we're gonna go we're gonna go to the C C drive. We're gonna we're gonna open, open the C by clicking on these on these things here. We're gonna open, go, go into the temporary folder. To be fair, because we've got include subdirects, we could just do it from there. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go actually into the Vista 64. Click OK. Click Next. <coughs> Going to warn you that it's not it's not signed uh, and it doesn't understand the publisher. So we're going to click OK. We're not signing the driver. 
uh, because it's it's not complicated but I, I don't want to complicate this process so we're just going to leave it unsigned and we're going to use the F8 option on boot whenever we want to use the KDS software I'll, uh, I'll demonstrate that in a moment so we're installing the drive at the moment okay there you go Windows found the driver now don't worry about this it encountered never while I tried to install it and this, this is the code 52 Windows cannot verify the digital signature because the driver is not signed. The reason why the driver is not signed is that Microsoft insists that every driver should be signed and it costs quite a lot of money. This is a freeware bit of bit of uh, coding, if you like, a, a driver. And obviously it's not worth paying that, that kind of money to have this driver signed. Luckily, to allow developers to continue, Microsoft have built in a little system that turns off driver signing enforcement. But we have to select that during the boot up process. Right, okay, so if, if, we, if we see this now, we've got a little yellow exclamation mark. This virtual communications port, if you didn't rename it in the notepad earlier, uh, is, is, is driving driving the KDS port, and because it's got a yellow flag, it won't work currently. What we need to do, we need to turn off driver enforcement on the next boot up. I'll show you simply how to do that. Basically, or well, at least I'll attempt to show you how to do that. <clears throat> if I start up... Uh, a virtual machine. I'm going to do after this in, in Windows uh, XP uh, just just to, just as a demonstration because I haven't got the uh, I haven't got a, got a Windows 7 virtual machine. Okay, so this is just a virtual machine. Just 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 assume this this screen is is your XP unit. So if I if I was if I'm booting up my PC, when you see when you see the black the black screen, you've got to press F8. I've done that quick enough. No, I didn't. Okay. Let's see if I can switch that off actually. Power off and try and do, do that again. Okay, so if, so if, I can, so if I can do that again, I've got to be really quick so I've got to activate the screen and get F8, F8 pressed pretty, pretty damn quickly. There you go. Okay, so I've just basically switched, switched on, on the PC. I keep pressing F8 at that post screen where you, where, where you see all the BIOS signs and things and you press F8 and in Windows 7 on here one of these modes will be uh, the ability to switch off driver signing enforcement select that press enter Windows will boot normally uh, I'll do that now on, on my system and I'll, and I'll show you how you can tell like, that you've got that switched off on the next boot it will disappear unless you do it again Okay, so I'll come back in a in a little while when I've rebooted. Okay, okay, so we're back, uh, and and this is the bit I really wanted to show you. It says down here test mode. This means that driver signing is now switched off. If if a device is added to the PC and the driver is not signed, it will load anyway. Okay. And if we go to, I can prove this, but if we go to the device manager again. Okay, I'm going to select view again and sh show hidden devices. Okay, and we should have in here is our virtual port that we, that we put in before. Now one thing I have noticed this is very very important it, it usually works on all PCs but, it, but I have had one instance where it came up with Comport 14 uh, Helibal software will only look at the first nine ports one to nine so if this is not right we'd have to right click select properties uh, select uh, port settings advanced and change this to a different port Okay. Just just for knowledge, if you, if you, if I select port four, it'll remove whatever's on port four, move move that to to a different different port instead. Okay, but I don't I don't need to do that in this case because I am on, on port three. I'm going to plug it in. As you can see, it's slightly faded at the minute. That's because it's not plugged in. Okay. So plug it in. I know it's I know it's highlighted. No no yellow exclamation mark there. So we should be able to go to uh, the ADS software now and just run the original Helibal software. 
Okay, I'm going to switch my blind mentor on because of course it needs power to it. You can't, you can't just, you can't just have it plugged in, fly mentor unit USB straight to, the, straight to the, the, the laptop. You must put power to the Heliball unit, otherwise it won't, will not connect. And as you can see, we are now connected using Windows 7 64-bit. Okay, well, I hope this, this tutorial works. Like I said, this test mode is only temporary. Next time I boot the PC, that will go away. If I want to use Heliball, I must restart the PC, press F8 on that black screen. As soon as the PC powers up and it, and it, and it, and it goes, and the screen goes black, and you've got the BIOS thing, you keep pressing F8. I normally just keep tapping it. Uh, and then the, the Windows startup options will, will, will appear. And then you just you, you scroll down. I think it's, I think it's the bottom one. Uh, disable driver signing enforcement. Start up like that, and your and, and 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 it will work as long as you're using this 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 new driver. Okay, hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching.